Hey guys, welcome back to our OBGYN sonography registry review. Let's keep rocking this test. Question 26. Where should the calipers be placed to measure the structure in this image responsible for the origin of the first blood cells? A, inner to inner, B, outer to outer, C, inner to outer, or D, outer to inner? So which structure is responsible for creating the first blood cells? And how do you measure it? The answer is A, inner to inner. And you're going to want to measure this yolk sac right here. Question 27. This type of condition usually resolves after what week? A, eight weeks. B, 16 weeks. C, four weeks. Or D, 21 weeks. So this is called corpus luteal cysts, and these typically resolve after 16 weeks. Question 28, which tablet medication is responsible for helping women who have infrequent periods or long menstrual cycles? A, gonadotropins, B, clomiphene citrate, C, glucophage, or D, paladel? The answer is clomiphene citrate. Question 29. What is demonstrated in this ultrasound? A, endometrial polyps. B, endometrial carcinoma. C, incomplete abortion. Or D, endometrial hyperplasia. The answer is D, endometrial hyperplasia. Question 30. Low levels of pregnancy-associated plasma protein A, or PAP-A, and beta-HCG may suggest what? A, open neural tube defects, B, trisomy 13, C, poor placental implantation, or D, trisomy 18. The answer is C, poor placental implantation. Question 31. Click on the rhombocephalon. Where on this image would you click on the rhombocephalon? So this is the portion that eventually turns into the hindbrain, which includes the cerebellum, the pons, and the medulla oblongata. And the answer is right here, that little spot. That's the rhombocephalon. Question 32. What does this ultrasound represent? A, hydrothorax, B, CCAM, C, duodenal atresia, or D, CDH? The answer is 
B, CCAM, or congenital cystic adenomatoid malformation. Sonographically, you're going to see multiple cysts demonstrated here. You will also see a mass in the lungs. This is abnormal tissue that's replaced the normal parenchyma. Then the heart will be displaced laterally because of the mass. And you'll also see ascites or hydrops. There's three types of CCAM. Type 1, you'll see one cyst that's greater than 2 centimeters. Type 2 will have multiple small cysts that are less than 1 or 2 centimeters. And type 3, the cyst will be so small, the ultrasound won't be able to detect it. That's why the lung appears hyperechoic. Question 33, which of the following is screened for cardiac abnormalities? A, amniotic fluid quantity, B, nuchal thickness, C, fetal breathing, or D, fetal swallowing? The answer is B, nuchal thickness. Question 34. Click on the structure that could resemble a resolving hematoma. The answer is right here. This is called a chorionic bump. Question 35, an MSD CRL of four millimeters is associated with what? A, normal pregnancy, B, trisomy 21, C, spontaneous abortion, or D, mole pregnancy? The answer is C, spontaneous abortion. Question 36, which of the following is the most accurate way to date a pregnancy sonographically? A, crown rump length. B, mean gestational sac diameter. C, LVAW measurement. Or D, biparietal diameter. The answer is A, crown rump length. Question 37. Fetal skin is considered thickened if measured what? A, greater than 5 millimeters. B, greater than 5 centimeters. C, greater than 3 millimeters. Or D, greater than 3 centimeters. The answer is A, greater than 5 millimeters. Question 38. What abnormality demonstrated in this fetal ultrasound occurs when the bowel herniates on the right side of the paraumbilical region and doesn't have a membrane? A, bladder extrophy. B, omphalocele. C, gastroscosis. Or D, ectopic cortis. The difference between gastroscosis and omphalocele is that gastroscosis only includes the bowel, while omphalocele includes the bowel or the liver or both. Question 39. Which sonographic sign does this ultrasound demonstrate? A. Duodenal atresia. B. Persistent right umbilical vein. C. Situs inversus. Or D. Situs ambiguous. The answer is B, persistent right umbilical vein. So in this ultrasound, 
you can see that the umbilical vein is dumping into the right portal vein of the liver instead of the left. Question 40. This type of fetal abnormality can be detected transvaginally as early as what week? A, 12 weeks, B, 16 weeks, C, eight weeks, or D, six weeks? This patient has a condition called acrania, and this can be detected transvaginally as early as 12 weeks. Question 41. All of the following increase alpha fetal protein, or AFP, except A, fetal skull abnormalities, B, maternal fetal hemorrhage, C, maternal hepatocellular carcinoma, or D, sacrococcus geoteratoma. The answer is A, fetal skull abnormalities. Question 42, what type of fetal abnormality is demonstrated here? A, anencephaly, B, acrania, C, enencephaly, or D, encephalocele? So the answer is A, anencephaly. This type of abnormality will make the fetus have a frog-like appearance. Question 43, a decrease in MS, AFP, HCG, and UE3 can suggest A, trisomy 18, B, trisomy 21, C, trisomy 13, or D, Turner syndrome. The answer is A, trisomy 18. Question 44, which of the following is the simplest way to confirm the diagnosis in this ultrasound? A, turn off harmonics, B, fetal bowel biopsy, C, lab test, or D, magnetic resonance imaging. This patient has a hyperechoic bowel, and all you have to do is just turn off harmonics because sometimes your 2D grayscale can be over-exaggerated. Question 45, what is the best way to improve the Doppler ultrasound? A, increase the pulse repetition frequency. B, increase the pulse repetition period. C, increase color gain. Or D, increase wall filter. The answer is A, increase the pulse repetition frequency because if you see here on the color scale, it shows an 11. If we just increase that a little bit, this will kind of make the aliasing artifacts go away. Question 46, what ultrasonic sign is demonstrated here? A, double bubble sign. B, sliding sac sign, C, intradecidual sign, or D, 
double decidual sign. The answer is B, sliding sac sign. And this is used to help confirm an ectopic pregnancy. Question 47. These ultrasound findings suggest what? A, Meckel-Gruber syndrome. B, Apert syndrome. C, Arnold Chiari malformation. Or D, Dandy Walker malformation. The answer is C, Arnold Chiari malformation. Question 48. What syndrome is associated with this condition? A, Dandy Walker malformation. B, Turner syndrome. C, Fitzhugh Curtis syndrome. Or D, Meg syndrome. The answer is A, Dandy Walker malformation. Question 49, click on the third ventricle. Where is the third ventricle on this image? The answer is right here in that region. Question 50. This type of malformation is a defect of what? A, the valves. B, the systemic system. C, the great arteries. Or D, the crux. The answer is D, the crux. Well, that concludes our next 25 questions. I'll go ahead and write 25 more questions and upload that video as soon as I can. I'm Jim with UltrasoundBorderView.com. Thank you so much for watching.